Welcome to Design eCentral's How Do I Create a Bill of Materials or a Change Order Request from a Design Review File. First of all, what we want to do is take a look at the challenge. Communicating the design requirements as I've taken all the time creating a drawing with all this markup stuff, how am I able to generate a Bill of Materials and communicate that information on to other people? Well, basically, Autodesk Design Review provides you symbol data fields. There's a variety of fields that we can use to manipulate with. We can deal with the revisioning process within des Design Review file so that we can keep track of which version this is, so forth, and exporting it into a summary data file which will allow us to open up in Excel. So let's take a look at it in action. Inside Design Review file, I have some markup symbols laid out here. You will see them here in the list in the markups, as well as I have this one selected here, which happens to be a smoke detector. I'm able to, the label, if I want to, I can change that to the manufacturer model. Down in the new notes field is I created discipline as well as location note in there, and I can add any additional notes to that. After completing all my markups and modifications to this, I'm ready to save the summary. So I click on the D, go to Save As, Save Markup Summaries, and then this is where I can come in and use my revisioning. So I'm just using the same file name, but I'm going to say this is revision 1.3, hit Save, and now it's successfully completed the Save to CSV file format. Next, all I have to do is locate that particular file by double left clicking on it. It opens it up into Microsoft Excel here, if I'm going to select this and it's going to expand all of these on out. There's a lot of fields that we probably don't need for our file, so I'm going to just go in and quickly delete those. I don't need this, I don't need the creator status or modify, but I do need the history because within the history it tells me this important information, the zone and the location. So quickly to take a look, as I've gone through and modified it, you'll be able to see that I've taken all that information that was in that particular project, added my logo to it, added a date, and then identified these more specifically as a description, pulled out the discipline, the location, as well as a put into a price for that. Now I have a change order request that I can print to my client. That's how easy it is to generate a bill of materials slash a change order request from a design review file. Thank you for watching our presentation on how do I create a bill of material or change order request from a design review file.